the city in the Americas, founded in 1325. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Tonight, it's another installment of the International Series, and we've got a good one on tap between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Well, the defending champs heading back out. And the Chiefs, of course, 12 and 4 last year, expected to be the favorites to win the AFC West for a fifth straight season. Now, Charles, look, we know how difficult it is to repeat in the NFL a Super Bowl chance. What kind of chances do you give KC of doing so? Well, let's start with the pessimism, right? Because no one has repeated in the NFL a Super Bowl champs. Since the Patriots in 2003 2004. Well, let's quickly get to the optimism. Patrick Mahomes is back at quarterback and has his new big time contract. Don't forget Clyde Edwards E. Lair coming from LSU, the runner. They really think he's going to be valuable from day one. And the defense got better throughout the season last year and really played well in the playoffs, led by Chris Jones. So if you want to beat this team, you got to find a way to outscore them, and that's going to be awfully difficult to do with Patrick Mahomes in that track club he has at receiver. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. Mahomes fighting his tight end Kelsey for a big one. 49 yards. 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. four yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six they'll run out of the gun here Williams three yards is half of what they needed now can they get the other three here on third down Jerry well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. His throw caught at about the five. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Makes the score, Chiefs 7, Chargers nothing.
Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. Joe Reed returning. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Chargers offense heading back out there. And this, Charles, one of those teams it's kind of hard to get a grasp on for 2020. It would seem that you can make an argument for them being a playoff team, but you might be able to just as easily make an argument for them finishing last in the AFC West. I can see where people can say that and see both sides of it, but I see this team contending for the AFC West title because this offense, Phillip Rivers won't be there anymore as their quarterback. But whether it's Tyrod Taylor or Justin Herbert, they got a chance to score some points because Keenan Allen and Mike Williams in that receiving core, not to mention Austin Eckler as the lead runner, they can put points on the board. And let's face it, on defense, that's where they shine. Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram with the pass rush, Chris Harris added to the secondary, and Derwin James, who was an all-pro as a rookie in 2018, He's fully healthy once again. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Taylor will throw. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Taylor a handoff it's Eckler. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. The linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. Well, on every play call you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game trying to establish the inside run run with toughness now hopefully get to the perimeter later and let's face it you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down stepping up he's gonna keep it it's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble and now it's third down Chris Jones on the stop it's a gain of two brings up third and three Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked up by Charvarius Ward. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. <laughs> We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them, and they took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amp. Others say, I've got two-touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Reed returning. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And yeah, last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Second and ten. A fake to Eckler. Now here's Taylor. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They complete it to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. yard line. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They'll get only a couple down to the 44, the ball carrier. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, Eckler, and he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. The third-year defensive tackle out of Florida State, Derek Nadi, with a nice play there. Started every game for Kansas City during their Super Bowl run a season ago. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. From the gun, it's Taylor. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Running on first down, Eckler. Austin five yards on the carry good pickup on first down well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight so far it's working I like what we're seeing from the offensive line they seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage moving that defensive front backwards but also like what the runners giving us too it appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off and he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 22. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. With Melvin Gordon moving on to Denver, Austin Eckler is officially the Chargers' number one option at the running back position. Gordon spent a lot of time holding out last year. Eckler took full advantage with a breakout season. 92 receptions, 993 yards, and eight touchdowns. He was in the top ten in the league in receptions, receiving touchdowns, and all-purpose yards. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When I watched Mike Williams play receiver at Clemson, one of the things I was drawn to is toughness. This is a guy who took some big-time hits out in the field as the number one receiver and kept finding ways to make plays. 
It finally has paid off for him because in 2019, had his first 1,000-yard season in the NFL and averaged over 20 yards per catch. Four yards there as they let him out of the pocket, and he got enough for the first. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. What a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. touchdown fielded a couple yards into the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 Kansas City taking the field for their second drive after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the win out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so I'd say come out just kind of get started again you know doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A nice gain of 21 yards. Tyreek Hill certainly makes the front office look good when they spend a fifth-round pick on a guy. Then in his first four seasons, four Pro Bowl nominations. Anytime he touches the football, he's a threat to take it the distance. Hard to get on the ground one-on-one -on -one in the open field. If you miss, in the blink of an eye, he's putting six on the board. Mahomes well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Working from the gun, Mahomes right back to Williams, and this time he's got him. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes pass caught by Watkins and he works it past the 30 almost to the 25 a good gain again that's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays Sammy Watkins is a former first round pick in the NFL and he sure reminded us during Kansas City's run to the playoffs last season 10 catches in the AFC championship game and a 98 yard receiving game in Super Bowl 54 he did talk about possibly stepping away and getting some time in the offseason. But Kansas City, very happy to have him back in their lineup and in their fold. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the 22. Mahomes, and this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. 
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That's complete to Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. And it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. L.A. readies for its next possession. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Austin Eckler, the intended target. And it's second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing again, Taylor. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Eight yards there. First down, L.A. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Taylor on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the Pro Bowl wideout Keenan Allen there, but it's going to be second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. They go play action with Taylor, and now he'll tuck it and run. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Chris Jones on the stop. A gain of one brings up third down and nine. The Chargers on third down. They've been good three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, 
And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Draw play, it's Eckler. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. 38-yard line, second and 11. From the gun, Taylor. He'll get this to Eckler. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They snap it at one. Now it's Taylor. And it's complete. Henry. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. Complete. Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And a good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Well, that's into the hands of Eckler. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. So on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Badgley able to punch this one through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Nicole Hardman. And able to get this out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. And going deep for Hill. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Mahomes pass. Intercepted. A handoff, it's Eckler. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. 
So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On the give, this is Eckler, and he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw with Taylor. Allen's got it complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there and a first down. I enjoy watching Keenan Allen play. Such passion, such drive, such physicality. 104 receptions last year, 1,199 yards, six touchdowns. He's made three straight Pro Bowl appearances, in addition to three straight seasons, over 1,100 yards receiving. I don't know how you rate him, but defensive players, they rate him awfully high. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Coming up on second and seven. Here is Heckler. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are able to make this a close game again. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if this is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I get some more. I get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Hardman on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Seven yards to pick up there. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Mahomes firing complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Mahomes throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Mahomes again. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Makes the score, Chiefs 28, Chargers 17. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, they just run the clock out and go to the locker room. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and ten, it's Taylor. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Taylor. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Intended for Hunter Henry, incomplete. It leads to second and ten. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. We always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. 
Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. That throw into the arms of Allen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Another the end result, 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll run here with Eckler. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Steps away. And now he's going to use his legs. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll try the right side with Eckler. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. It's a gain of three. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. On third down, Taylor. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a look. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown ground. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Taylor. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and ten at their own 25-yard line. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. Well, this is caught by Williams. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion. But he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end. But unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Here's King. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers getting set to go. Things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? They'll throw on first down with Taylor. His throw incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw again, Taylor, and caught by Henry. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That's a gain of seven. When Hunter Henry entered the league. People are really looking for him to establish himself as one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Ability to run and catch and make plays in open space. But the biggest obstacle he's had is just staying on the field. Ended up missing all of 2018 due to injury. When he's right, he is one of the better tight ends and better targets in the AFC West. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It's fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's a second and seven now from their own seven. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. 
Again, it's Williams. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Damian Williams was dinged up a little bit in 2019 in Kansas City, brought in LaShawn McCoy to supplement him. But when healthy, Damian Williams is a terrific back. Excellent speed, low center of gravity to make people miss. And how about the longest run in the league in 2019? 91 yards against the Vikings in week nine. Many thought he was going to get caught, but he used the scoreboard in the stadium to make sure that no one was behind him as he carried it all the way to the end zone. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Second and five now. Mahomes, Robinson's got it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 11 yards there, first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 20 on a catch and run. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Brings up second Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They run it again with Williams. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 21. It'll be a gain of six, and the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. Jerry Tillery coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 16. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's complete to Robinson. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. Butker's kick here is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Mahomes now to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. 
And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Damian Williams, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. And the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 22. He'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Taylor. Stepping up, Taylor hit. He lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Butker on for the PAT. That'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Makes the score, Chiefs 42, Chargers 25. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. L.A. readies for its next possession. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 53 is the mark. 53 is the mark. From the shotgun, he'll throw. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? 
This pass finds its way to Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. On Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down. Taylor. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. On first down, it's Taylor. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. If I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Looking to throw again on second down. Taylor, he's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Fired that one in there. Able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. That's complete right around the eighth. And he's in for a Charger touchdown from 17 yards out. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Here's Hardman on the return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And now here comes Kansas City. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. Oh, 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A quick slant to Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The busy night continues for Williams, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hitting the yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Chargers offense gets set. They head back onto the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Now Taylor on first down. He's got Allen. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right, It's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... <laughs> It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. A gain of six there on first. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Taylor going to try and hurry him to the line. Taylor to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
Now here's a first down throw that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you got to run fast. Of course, you got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. To throw again on second down. Taylor, it's complete to Williams. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Here's Taylor. Forced, and he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Is good. Makes the score. Chiefs 42. Chargers 39. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. KC's offense ready to take over. run got three now here's second and seven they'll keep it on the ground it's Williams and he works it to the 30 yard line here right at the 30 now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game So first and 10 now from the 30. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. 
Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.